Hello, good morning, good afternoon, or indeed good evening, depending on your time zone and depending on when you are watching this. I'm James Innes, and this is my YouTube show, The Jobs Guru. It is Thursday, the 20th of August, 2020. I'm delighted to see you all here for today's episode. I extend a very warm welcome to all those who have subscribed since the last episode. And if you haven't yet subscribed, then please do think about subscribing so you don't miss out on the next episode. Today, I'm going to be talking about the latest jobs, careers, employment, and workplace news. If you have any questions or comments as you watch them, do please type them into that comment section below. And if you like what you see, then do please hit that YouTube thumbs up. So, as always, I've had a good read through of all the week's jobs, careers, employment, and workplace news. It's not all doom and gloom this week. There is some good news. Not much, no, but some. Anyway, the article I've chosen to focus on today is from the FT. Headline, Why Tech Can't Close the Diversity Gap, a piece by Elaine Moore. She says, a focus on hiring more people from minorities isn't enough. Companies must also persuade them to stay. She highlights that whilst gender representation has improved at the biggest tech companies, although yes, there's still room for further improvement, ethnic diversity has hardly budged. In the wake of the recent global protests against racism, Black Lives Matter, etc., many big tech companies have rushed to promise changes, and those pledges suggest a busy few years for HR departments. By 2025, Snap claims it will have doubled its number of underrepresented racial and ethnic minorities. Microsoft says it will have doubled the number of black senior leaders in the US by the same date. Uber says it will have doubled black representation leadership roles by then too. But these promises in many ways serve as a reminder of past failure, don't they? At Facebook, the proportion of the workforce who are black has inched up from 2% in 2014 to 3.9% this year. At Alphabet, Google's parent company, the share has increased from 2% to 3.7% over the same period. Not that you'd know this from the adverts and promotional material that the companies produce. At the leadership level, it's even starker. Take Apple, whose videos for new products employ, you know, uh, Apple Watch, for example, employ a noticeably diverse cast. The share of Apple's leadership who are black has remained 3% for the past five years. These companies have, of course, been trying to improve diversity amongst new hires for many years now. So maybe the problem is getting people to stay. Being a minority of one in the team or being asked to take on the extra work of representing a company that wants to demonstrate its diversity is wearing. Maybe companies need to focus not just on who they hire, but on who chooses to leave. Elaine concludes, attrition is just as important as hiring. Workers have grown wise to big promises. Tech has always been good at selling itself, but diversity theater is not enough. So now we're not far from the end of today's show. I'll be back next week, Tuesday. Remember the show is Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday each and pretty much every week. Just two more things. First, I'm a squeeze into routine, but it's important requests. Do please check me out on social media and connect, follow, or otherwise stalk me, but please don't troll me. Nobody likes trolls. Any questions or comments about this episode, about the show in general, indeed about life, the universe, government U-turns, whatever, do please let me have them in the comment section below. If you like this episode, then do please hit it with the YouTube thumbs up. And if you've kindly given me a thumbs up, then do think about both subscribing to my channel and ringing that little YouTube bell so you don't miss out on the next episode. If you've already done all that, then thank you. Now, what is happening in the next episode? Well, next Tuesday, I'm going to be concluding my regular Tuesday series of valuable interview advice with a look at the various different interview scenarios, one-on-one -on -one interviews, panel interviews, competency-based and situational interviews, uh, group interviews, distance interviews, very topical, and assessment centres. I do hope you'll tune in. Thank you for watching today. Keep safe and be well, my friends. See you next Tuesday. Goodbye. <laughs>